Today in the show, it's Review Miss, the show where I'm going to be reviewing a comic every day right up till New Year's Day. And in today's episode, we are going to be reviewing I Hate Fairyland or Fuck Fairyland. So I first found out about this comic on the Weekly Pool podcast, Benny was talking about it, and I was like, okay, this sounds like something right up my alley. It's essentially a comic about a girl who, when she's about five years old, gets stuck in Fairyland. And all she has to do to get out of Fairyland is find the key back to her home world. But the thing is, she ends up getting stuck there for 27 years, meaning she's in her 30s now, still hasn't found the key, and she hasn't aged a day physically, but mentally, she's become a very, very dark, very, very angry, very, very bloodthirsty individual. Where do I even begin with this comic? Because there's so much to talk about. First off, the art in it is so fantastic. If you like Invader Zim, you will love Fuck Fairyland. It's so perfect, it's so gory and disgusting without actually being too over the top. It actually reminds me of Lenore. I actually say that a lot by these types of books, and not necessarily in the way the story's being told, but in terms of how it's drawn. I don't know if it's the same artist that worked on Lenore. I'll check if it's Roman Dirge, but I don't think it's Roman Dirge. I love how even though it's the first issue, we do see not just her perspective on being stuck in Fairyland for 27 years, but the other fairies' perspective of her. And spoilers, they don't like her. She's very loud, very rude, and she kills a lot of fairies. And you know, when you're going around killing people, there's a point where people go, okay, you need to stop. And I love like this weird status thing that's going on where she doesn't have powers, but the other people in Fairyland do have a certain amount of powers and they have an understanding of how that world works. Whereas she doesn't have that because she's not from Fairyland. So she uses this to her advantage and she's not afraid to go over the top like, oh, those fairies have mushrooms for heads? I will eat their heads. I think it's a very, very down to earth, realistic approach to a story that's been told a million times. A girl falls down a hole and she has to find her way home. And by the end of it, she learns a lesson. And this girl's lesson is clearly, fuck Fairyland, I wanna go home. It'll be interesting to see how this progresses later on because there's only two issues out at the moment. And my main worry is that it becomes the same thing in every single issue. And I wouldn't like to see that. I'd like to see something different done with it because yeah, for this style of humour, there is a lot you can do, but it's easy to fall into a pattern. It actually kind of makes me want to go back and read Lenore and watch the Lenore animation. Like, Lenore was brilliant, and you can clearly see that there was some form of inspiration from Lenore in this book. If it's not the people that worked on Lenore, they were clearly inspired by Lenore, just in the way things are drawn. Like, if you like Fuck Fairyland, read Lenore. It's that simple. This comic is not politically correct whatsoever, and it doesn't make an attempt to cover that up at all. So just by opening the book and flipping through, you can tell if this book is for you. And if you are offended very, very easily, so if you have a Tumblr account, don't read this book. It ain't for you. If you like politically incorrect humor, if you like things that are very, very honest and upfront about a lot of world issues, read this book because honestly it's so upfront about everything but it's so funny about it if that makes sense it's super effective okay guys that is it for today so what do you think of i hate fairyland please leave in the comments down below and also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos and also don't forget to like me on facebook follow me on twitter support the show by checking my patreon if you want to see bigger and better and more history videos and also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my comedy channel my name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.